Hey, thanks for coming. It's getting, it's getting pretty moist out here. I got my goggles on. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Hooray, this is my eighth video on how to manifest your twin flame relationship. And I'm going to make it really fast because you know what? Screen time is the thing of the past. Number one, trust who you are. This is probably the main ingredient. Be authentic with yourself. Trust who you are. Always, always challenge the concept of who you think you are and what you think you want, your desires. Right now, you may be desiring a relationship, an external form of consciousness that you can reflect with. This is something to keep in mind when you want to manifest your twin flame relationship. So breathe that in, breathe in yourself, trust yourself, constantly question yourself, go inward. Who are you? Ask the big questions. Who am I? Where am I? Where is my twin flame? Am I showing myself? So number two is to express who you are. Be you by being. This is how we manifest our twin flame relationship. By imbuing what it is we want to see from the other side of the universe. Because soulmates are just mates that meet up and create another soul. Twin flames, their creation is different. Their creation is from a higher or from a lower perspective. And entry it doesn't matter. The perspective is that you fall into trusting yourself so that you can then, number two, be and imbue and just let your energy outpour into the universe of you. Because just as songbirds find each other through expression of their song, you need to start expressing who it is you are. If you're playing games with yourself, you're going to get games in return. How you treat yourself is how you will be treated. And the relationship you have with yourself is the relationship that you will attract and have in the form of a partner. So number three on how to manifest your reality, I mean twin flame relationship, is to follow the omens. Following the omens or following the allegorical winks that nature provides us is taking a leap of faith. It is slapping yourself in the face to get out of your mind, come into your senses, let the universe take the wheel. You always have the controls until you scare yourself and then you let them go. And letting go is the process of trusting the omens. Let the universe take you to somewhere you haven't been before. A route, a path, an opportunity, maybe a loss. You need to lose a bit of yourself. A lot of us like alcohol and had a meeting relationship. Maybe we need to lose alcohol to figure out a more authentic relationship or a more authentic experience. Ones that, one that is grounded in who you are. If you want something that is really clear, like a twin flame relationship that isn't obscure, follow the omens. And I know that will be a doorway to manifesting your twin flame relationship. Number four, the door is in trust. So number four is trusting the universe and just trusting the process. If you think you'll be alone forever, go into that feeling. Trust that that's the process. That's that's the universe experiencing right now. So that's part of the healing is to just trust that wherever you are right now, me FaceTiming you, watching this video, this is part of how you are manifesting your twin flame relationship. If you feel like you've gotten enough information, hit pause, dislike the video, unsubscribe, and get out in there, <laughs> in, into the real world. 
This is your vibe. This is how you are attracting and manifesting a twin flame relationship. You need to get out there, be on stage, trust the universe. This is all a show. This is you watching me. I'm watching you. We're balancing eternity here, folks. If you haven't totally come to know this, this is how it's supposed to unfold. There are no coincidences. We're creating this in real time. So trusting the universe and maybe making a little rhyme, we can find and manifest our twin flame relationship. The last tip that I want to leave you today is let love guide your way. Love is all you need. <laughs> love is all you need. Life's a dream. All you have to do is open up your mind to the concept that this isn't a linear progression. You can loop back and by trusting in love and letting love be your guide, it'll show you how to be authentic with yourself, how to love yourself, how to develop the self love so that you can then be confident in expressing who you are authentically in harmony with the external because our external is coming into harmony with our internal and we are trusting the process of how it's unfolding. It's like a fountain. You are in control. You are Jesus take the wheel, but we are in fact, giving up the controls and receiving the controls in a perfect balance. So let love, let this vulnerable outpouring of love, let that be your guide on how to manifest your twin flame relationship. I hope this helps. I truly do. I love you. In Lakesh, I'm on vacation. I don't know if you've noticed, but this has been quite the trip. And <laughs> I can't get enough of it. I don't know when to pause this video or, or to end this video. I'm going to end it right now. It's been a beautiful experience. If you like what I do, make sure you uh, don't do anything and just be you. <laughs> and the cash. <laughs>